Good morning, people. Welcome back to the channel. Grumpy old git in the corner. Uh, first today, I'd like to pank up... Pank? What the hell did that... Pass on... Um, some thanks from Eleanor, who was... I put a clip up yesterday, my granddaughter. She said, would I thank you all for your lovely comments? Very, very much appreciated it. Lovely young girl who's going to fight for this country at some point. Probably after I'm gone. But anyway, talking about our country, with this shit going on now with China. Um, I reported the other day on what happened at the embassy or house or whatever it was in Manchester. Well, that has actually made mainstream media now, including a video where they dragged one of the peaceful protesters into the grounds and uh, basically beat him to the point where he ended up in hospital and the police had to rescue him. Is this what we want in this country? The Chinese are now getting away with whatever the hell they want. Kick the bastards out. Shut their embassy down, kick the bastards out, I'd say. Especially now, on top of what else has come to light. Um, this, it, everybody probably knows about it now. The uh, ex-military pilots going over to the dark side. Training the Chinese pilots on how to defeat our air forces. And our pilots. Because I won't say these people are ours anymore. And what do we get from the government? Well, at the moment, they're not doing anything illegal. It's not illegal what they're doing. Why isn't it? Because it amounts to nothing other than bloody treason. I suppose it's because you class them as mercenaries, is it? And, you know, this does have wider implications because... If the Chinese know about these secrets and what we do, then obviously the Russians do. Most of the countries that are against us will also know, because they'll pass it on to them. They'll pass on the knowledge. And also, it's not just us that this concerns, or it should concern because most of the European air forces fly the same type of jets, um, along with the USA. I mean, they did mention the F-35, which is an American-designed aircraft and is flown widely by the American Air Force. <coughs> uh, you know, where's Maverick and Goose when you need them? We need a hero. But why is this happening? Well, basically, it's because of the money. These people, these elites, the elite pilots, or ex-pilots, I should say, because I wouldn't have thought any of them are still serving, otherwise they would be hauled up for it. But it's all the money that they're being offered. This is what they're doing it for. I'm not going to say it's because of the uh, economic situation in this country and the prices that are going up, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if that's got something to do with it. Although we did find out that the uh, intelligence people, so-called, have known about this for a few years. They've admitted it. Well, you can't be that bloody intelligent if you haven't put a stop to it. So... <laughs> But what are you going to do about it? Well, they said they will tell them off and give them a warning. And if they do it again, they will be really in trouble. So basically a slap on a wrist for giving all our military secrets away. You know, th these guys are nothing but traitors to the country as far as I'm concerned. Treasonous traitors. Anybody that loves their country wouldn't do that. 
but this is what we've got now. Uh, you know, there's been reports of secret police stations, Chinese secret police in this country. Um, but yeah, this has been banded about for some time now, but we know there's Russian spies here, communist spies. And apparently the intelligence bureau know about most of them. Well, get rid of them then. This is not good for the security of our country. <coughs> so, that's that said, moving on. Well, both the government and the grid are saying there wouldn't be blackouts this winter. As I've said before, they've said it all along. But the grid is telling us now, again, prepare for them, possibly in January, February. Now, if they're saying there isn't going to be any, and there's only going to be a slight possibility of it, if the gas flow stops, then how can they actually predict that the blackouts will be on weekdays, mainly between 4 and 7 p.m.? Now, think about this, 4 to 7 p.m. Those that are working, that's the time of day that they'll get home between those hours. That's the time that all their electric cars or those that uh, try to be green plug in. So they're going to want their cars charged up, ready for the next day. This is also the time that most people will eat their evening meal. And it's the time that most families will wash and bath their kids, getting them ready for bed. This just ain't going to work. It totally will not work. Now, in my mind, this is conditioning. They're conditioning us for what's going to come in the future. Which I think could well be, you get your electricity allowance for the day, and once you've used it, that's it, it's gone. It's rationing. What happened to all the renewable energy that you were saying was coming in from wind farms, solar farms? Well, you've already said now that you're not going to take any more agricultural land to build solar farms. And the wind farms don't work because they just wear out and break down. <laughs> so, yeah, I think they're preconditioning us for blackouts. I really do. It, it's coming. As far as I can see. Um, what did we hear from Chucky? Well... Her main thing is saying sorry at the moment for doing things too fast. But it was funny how she only gave this apology through the BBC. Hmm. State TV on its way, 1984. <sighs> so at least if it came out on the BBC, a lot of people wouldn't have seen it, would they? <laughs> But, uh, but she did say, and <laughs> outright said she would lead the con jobs into the next election. Well, you may well do, love, but I don't think you've got a hope in hell of winning it. <laughs> you know, considering most of your party are saying no. But... Uh, yeah, you know, making these predictions, it's a very, very bold prediction she's made. Considering the amount of support that has been lost. I mean, it's, they're deluded. They, they really are. But I'll leave it there. But I will give you a quick update on my health. Yeah, talk about me for a change. Well, the letter from my doctor that I got yesterday uh, confirms, on top of everything else that I've got with the fatigue and everything, um, apparently I'm a very high risk of thromboembolic complication. Well, I'm going to have to look up what that is. 
but I should say that's something to do with um, blood clots and the strokes and apparently this is what makes it an even higher risk is that I've got been diagnosed with polycynthia enema again I'm gonna have to look that up to see what it is <laughs> you know th these are tests that were done back in March April and I'm only just getting the bloody results <clears throat> but apparently I've got to have all sorts of tests now including uh, a CT ventiogram um, as well as having my bloods taken um, blood tests and pressure tests um, at least once a week and I've got to have a series of appointments at the haematology clinic, clinic and they've given me a load more meds to take oh well we'll see what that becomes I'll let you know in the future but anyway I'll leave it there for today as I say again thank you from Eleanor for the lovely messages um, she has had quite a few on Facebook as well she does have that up on her Facebook um, although she is age restricted obviously being 11 years old that's why she hasn't come on here to um, thank you all herself because I always post my videos as not made for kids because I do swear on them now and again and I we do protect the kids on the internet the grandchildren but until tomorrow people I've got things to do today that's why I'm trying to get this one done early thank you for your support and my respects to each and every one of you for that support it does mean a lot to me I notice the viewings have gone down a bit but what's yeah you know, thank you for those guys that are still watching I know some of you binge watch so you know they will catch up but until the next one as always stay safe stay strong don't let these idiots put the fear back into you guys even with the new campaign for the jabby out now make your own minds up it's your life respects people <laughs>